Hello there, can anyone hear me? Sorry about that. Um, it's the usual thing, teething troubles. As soon as I started, everything started. Sorry about that, guys. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you come to see my first uh, live stream in a while. I hope you're going to have... Uh, give you guys a little tour around for now, and then we'll start building something later on with a few more people get on. At least I hope a few more people get on. Um, this is part of my world. This is this is my little experimental area where I start building various machines and things like that. By the way, everyone hear me okay? So, uh... at the moment given the month I thought I'd start making myself some pumpkins um, so I started building a few machines down here you know a little pumpkin factory started off as you normally do with something a bit too complex so the signal would come down here and it would go round here and it would go round here and it would go round here and it would come down here and it would push the pistons and those pistons would hopefully knock some pumpkins into the water where they'd get washed down here. I don't know where this chicken is. This chicken, by the way, has been here for about a fortnight and doesn't seem to have any desire to leave whatsoever. No idea why. But, yep. Yeah. That's... That was a bit complex. In fact, that's a bit crap, to be totally honest. You watch it, the piston pushes out. It's pushed out for that long, and then it stops. And it waits, waits, it waits, waits, it waits. Piston gets pushed out, and it, it stays out there. Well, okay, this took me a couple of hours to make. The world, no, it doesn't have a name yet, and I think I'm actually going to make a competition out of that later. I'll give people a chance to, to name the world. Um, it's brand new. We've only been doing this for about two weeks. In fact, the uh, the video on my channel, when I was talking about why I hadn't been recording for a while, it was actually um, about the third or fourth day that they'd been up. But, yeah, that took me about half an hour to make. The first part of this one, which is the new improved model, if such a thing is possible, the first layer of this took me a couple of hours to make, and I built the other two after that quite quickly. So this one's actually got three three layers, all of them making pumpkins. So potentially there could be nine pumpkins there during on the day. Oh, the chicken! No, the cluckle seems to be traditional. Um, if anyone's got a suggestion and I find myself a name tag, I will go and name the chicken. Let's show that on a, a video later on. But yeah, okay. Where are we? Um, right, so this one works by letting everything grow during the day, and at the end of the day, when the sun sets, the pistons push out, knock any pumpkins they find into the water. Right, let's change the view for that one, because it's a bit better. And the water... Washes it all down here into this hopper and into the chest. That seems to be working quite well. Nugget. Nugget works. 
Yeah, okay, the chicken is now officially called Nugget. I will I will name it later on and I will show that on one of my videos later on. Okay, so that's what I've been building. Have um you guys seen um the video I showed the other day um about my Minecraft world? Uh, we'll head back to spawn town, go off a couple of other bits and pieces, and then what I'll do is I'll start doing the build for tonight. And if we've got any time left, I need to go into the uh, into the Nether because we are a bit short on a few bits and pieces. We need some quartz. We need some Netherrack for bricks, and I found a I found a a fortress the other day, so I want to go and have a quick look at that, and hopefully, so. anyway, sheep farm. This isn't my doing. Let's do this. This isn't my doing. This is a uh, Hellcat and Charbel starting rounding up these sheep, and I just got the fence. Oh, I there you go. So, lots and lots of sheep, a cacophony of sheep, all different colours. Unfortunately, looks like they've put two colours in a pen and they're breeding and creating pigs. <laughs> yeah, I was really happy that April decided to join us here, so uh, that was great. So, yeah, sheep, 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 all different colours. Which means you don't have to wipe die, um, die the wall. They are incredibly noisy. Right, so noisy, let's just get out of here. Hello. Right. And we have here tree farm. Where we are growing various trees. We have oak. We have acacia. We have dark oak. We tried growing some uh They were they were very, very flattering about your sheep. So they could use volume controls. Hello, Casey the Duck. Yeah, multicolored sheep shop. Vaguely familiar. Okay. Um. Um. Now, much I can do about that. That's all down to the streaming issue. Uh, streaming, I'm afraid. Um. I've got this set to. Um, it should be showing it um, 800 by 400 ish, but uh, if it gets too bad to see, let me know because I am recording this to show on YouTube. So if it's totally crap, it's a complete waste of time. But anyway, yes, Andrew Moon here, the Hell Kitty herself. When I found a dungeon, the other, a dungeon found a, found a, a, um, a jungle the other day, and as a result, is growing a little bit of chocolate, tiny bit. Just a smidgen. Just all of it. And I hope she doesn't mind me showing off. Do you mind me showing off? No, I thought you didn't mind me showing off. There's Sal Sal's a couple of pets. Where are they? Where are the couple of pets? Oh, there's Creepy Baby. Who apparently likes music. And Octavian! Octavian the bat. So I've just noticed there's a tiny little pair of fangs. <laughs> so there we go, two new additions to the family there. Okay. Oh, cut. Yeah, creepy baby! Oh, not the only right. Finally, now I want to show you this. Um, one of the first things we built on Spawn was um, what we called Spawn Towers, which is basically just a set of apartments. Anybody who starts move, uh, moves into the area can have a free apartment until they get sorted out. They've got a place to uh, to play. I'm really sorry about it, but it's uh, 
most probably to intertubes, and there's much not much I can do about it. Look, we decided to have we had this massive rugged window on the front of the design, so uh, Mandarin Moon there, the Hell Kitty, came up with a, a design which I think is really really good. looks like this. And that, if you can't see it, too well, we'll come back during the day perhaps, is a tulip. Pretty damn impressive. We'll have a look at that game during the day. We all need to buy better board, man. Yes, dear, I'll show it during the day. Okay, what I want to build today is... Look, um, a little food shop, a little free food shop, which I am calling Fucking Good Chicken, for the obvious reason. Okay, so that's what I've got to build today, and I hope you guys will stay with me, give me some food, thoughts and some feedback and all that. Now, the first thing I built in this uh, this place when it loaded up was, uh, well, torches. But the second thing I built, possibly, was this. This is basically an automatic uh, chicken dispenser. Does quite a good job. Creates feathers and creates chickens. <laughs> and this is this has been working quite nicely, and it's been producing, providing, providing us with a lot of food, plenty of chicken, and everyone's been happy with it. But the problem is in the way it's in the wrong place the town does have um, developed around it and basically there should be road so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and i'm going to rebuild it over and fucking good chicken and build a little sort of fast food restaurant around it so it, it but the one thing i wanted to do was uh split it up so you can have um, chicken and chicken products, yeah, chicken and chicken byproducts. So chicken will come in here. Chicken byproducts will come in here. Feathers on. Let me show you how it works. First of all, let me go and grab some chicken and some feathers. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't mind either. It's a nice place to live. Go and get some chicken and some feathers. So I'll grab that stack. Grab that stack. There okay, it works. Oh, Nugget will be safe. Don't worry about that. I think it's going to take Nugget several years to get out of that corner it's stuck in. So, right, I will be building the chicken factory so it's here where this um, this this chest is. So as chicken, cook chicken and feathers go down, they will get dropped in this hopper here and they will get moved across this top row of hoppers. And below these the, these other two hoppers, and these two actually work as filters. This one will only allow cooked chicken through. And this one will only allow feathers through. Do you see it's twitching between six and seven, six and seven, six and seven. What's happening is feathers are dropping in it. I'm, I'm pointing at the screen, I don't know why, but feathers are dropping into it from the top and falling through so that they fall into, into the chest here. Likewise, only chick only uh only chicken spawned into that chest. All powered by this little bit of redstone con contraption here. So as something falls in there, it fires a signal off down here, which turns this torch off for a moment, which allows this to actually dispense something into the chest. Tip as that. So what I want to do is I want to build the chicken factory where that chest is. And then, if the, provided there's time, I will build a, a bit of a start building a, a just build a nice little fast food restaurant type design around it. So, excuse me, needed a drink. Um, so, uh, um, it looks a little bit better. It doesn't look so quite so horrible. What else are we doing? Little idea we had that is going to be. Um, become part of the library. The idea is that the water will come down here, it will go down through the library, 
and outside into a park behind it. Nice. And we have been experimenting with lampposts. That was the first ones we put up because we wanted some lights. I don't know who did this one. I think it was you, Mandarin Moon, wasn't it? And the one we decided we'll probably go with later on is this one. Because it looks a bit... Uh, what else have we got before I actually start doing something? Ah, yes. A little bit of work in here. Hey, meet Mint Sauce. Mint Sauce wandered in while we were building it and decided that uh, he wanted to live here, so he does. Nice little grassy sitting area there with a tree and some paintings and uh, a fountain and some mailboxes. So the whole idea here is if you come in and you want to give Charbel something, actually give Charbel something, just go and get it with the Well, um, this is my little coffee, by the way, I don't know if you guys haven't seen it before. The, 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 uh, the house that I built first, I've got some cows, it's got the horses, a donkey and a mule there. Various crops. And... Oh, you didn't take the sheep, okay. And of course, the obligatory chickens, who provide the obligatory eggs. Think, think. <laughs> I don't know. No way! Right. You see, I'm male, I don't need as much chocolate. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I wanted to give Harbour a little present the other day. So this is a good opportunity to give it to him. How about being a man who likes explosions? If you ever want to give him a gift, things he always does it. So everybody has, uh, everybody lives here has a, a mailbox. This is uh, April's. This one's Charbel's. So open that up. Open the light lights up to show that there's something. Yeah. Okay. Let's turn it down a touch. Mm. Charmel can then come along, take that out, that goes out, so there's nothing in it. It's simple, but not quite nice thing. Right! Ah, sun is rising. Hopefully we'll be able to see the tulip now. Get that out a little bit better. I think there's actually going to be tulip in the front of that picture. Oh, no, it's good now. You, man, do as I say. Turn it down. No. Oh, no. Okay, let's get cracking on. Wait. But the first thing I want to do is I want to get up here and build myself a uh, chicken factory. So I want to grab a few bits and pieces of the old one because I can't be bothered to build them. It does mean that this one will stop working for a bit, but we don't need it anymore anyway. So have these. Hold. 
Don't change my outfit. No. Yes, and believe me, it's, it's probably only you that hears the whip sounds. I just obey them. Okay, let's get some building going on. The bubble stone is a bit, I think. Place the sorts of stuff with a something a bit more colourful later on, but for now we are probably gonna to have to do something about that massive open coal there. Nice little layer there, because then I can stand on it and build around it. Because there's a lot of stuff stuck in those hoppers, so let's get that sorted out as well. Oh, that must be my imagination. Okay, so let's get rid of this chest. Okay. Build up. building this without notes, so this is probably going to go hideously wrong, but we'll see if we can work out why when it does. Glass. Glass isn't necessary, but it does help seeing what the problems are and help. Okay, so How I will. However. Just actually seeing why this won't work, so I might have to do a little bit of a reroll first. <laughs> Alright, I think I know why. I'm in armour. That's what I look like normally. Right, so there's a bit. Let's see with this water so I can make a bucket of now. Oh, this is Minecraft, don't worry, nothing exciting will happen, I promise you. Thanks. Nice. Didn't get this bucket on that. Yep. Yeah. Just watch that quickly just to see what it's going to set fire to. Nothing, good. We had a bonus that oh, that wee little chicky there is going to grow up safe and sound. Let him loose later on. Very snazzy my outfit, isn't it? Very snazzy. Just a touch 80s, but not bad.
I love the giant white cross on the middle of my nose. It's, I think it's just really tasteful. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Another thing I've put together this week is uh, one of our players has a bit of a motion sense sensitivity problem. So put together a, a quick resource pa uh, resource pack for them. Doesn't do anything much. Just gives a far more visible cursor. Which hopefully is going to help their problems out. I've been running around for it for a little bit. It's a bit disturbing. But uh, not hugely distracting. So I think that will probably do the trick. Where was I? Arva ah, goes in there. So I just want to put... Uh, Up here to make sure. Yeah, this isn't there. But I've gone down to to five. Go up a level. Right, let's do that quickly. Like that. No, I didn't hit. Right, I need to put some stone down here. Build on the left above. Got a little hopper in there. Tell me I've used them all up. That's where the hopper put me. What am I trying to do again? Oh, and hello Shizzy. What I'm trying to do here is I am trying to make myself a new chicken farm. Yeah. Um, up the top there. And then if I time if time if there's enough time I'm gonna start building just a nice restaurant around it so it doesn't look so hideous. Uh, thank you, Andrew Moon. I will probably take you up on that. Right, I want a chest. Oh, there. Grab the whole lot where I'm going today. I'll probably leave it all. Uh, Hopper is... Remember right? Right, excellent. Then I get stuck getting off the ladder because that looks so good. Good boy. Nothing with me. Back to The only thing that happened, Katie, while you were away was I realised I was doing it wrong. So let's try and do it right. We should rehearse these things. Okay, so let's get that offer in place. That that's going to be our base. That's where all the uh, stuff is going to drop into. So on the slab on top of that, have one of those. The slab lives there. So the rest of this was stone. Then we need to place above this to put uh, the lava in. So hold back. Yes. 